His first love was opera singing. But back in the 1950s, when he trained at the Royal Academy of Music, there just weren't opportunities for black British opera singers. So he turned to acting, started working as a film extra in, in 1955, and then worked his way from there. Here was an actor of stature, you know, 40, 50 years ago, establishing you know, a presence in British film which no other black person, perhaps Earl Cameron, had as well. So, you know, to, to receive this legacy award is just so well earned. What a talent. He was a great, a great, great man. A little underestimated by um, the kids today. There is, there is a problem uh, we have with uh, young black actors in that they don't know what was done before them. And so they kind of um, don't respect what older actors have done because they don't think we've done anything. I mean, some of the, the, the plays he did, or the, the films, the early films, were very much sort of showing what is possible. Now get this. I'm going to tell you until I know you're clean. And if you're not clean, I'm going to kill you. Thomas. Baptiste worked with, from very early on, the likes of Howell Pinter, Joan Littlewood at the theatre workshop that she had at Stratford East, um, in films with Michael Caine, and working alongside these incredible names in British film and theatre. It, it's kind of sad in a way that he wasn't remembered as well as he should have been. Thomas Baptiste even mentions it, you know, in terms of that beginnings of how he would manage to break through onto the stage, but it's also maintaining a career, you know. To have um, longevity in this business for a black performer was, you know, it's virtually unheard of. In fact, it was such a struggle just to get on to the, you know, in front of a camera in this country when I came in the 60s. In a way, people like Tommy, uh, it was actually breaking ground and making a pathway for the rest of us. Apart from his work um, in film, of which there are many, many roles, prestigious roles, um, that he played, um, he was someone who was incredibly important in theatre, and someone who was also had an operatic kind of career. And so there's a way in which I think his unique contribution as someone who was able to permeate the kind of, you know, high arts of theatre um, and music in this country is really someone who, in a way, led the way for black actors occupying particular positions, um, which we maybe might take for granted a little bit more these days. He was also somebody who worked um, a lot with uh, the International Federation um, of Actors, so that he dealt with actors from all over the world, America, you know, Russia, France. Um, I, I then got to a point where he encouraged me to also take an interest in, for instance, the Actors' Union equity. And setting up the African, Afro-Asian artists in equity and also his campaigning on the Equity Council for great equality and great exposure for black actors. So it's, it's, you know, it's great that this is being done by Screen Nation. And Tommy Baptiste is a deserving member of this award. Thank you, Thomas, for everything. Thank you for the way you loved me, encouraged me, helped me, introduced me to Jesse Norman, and help to develop me as a creative person and as an actor. Thomas, I'm sorry it's a posthumous award, but I'm so pleased that you're receiving this Screen Nation honour because you really deserve it. If anyone deserves it, you do. For all the years of hard work and effort, not just as an actor, 
but as a, a campaigner. Well done, old boy. You've achieved it. You deserve it. People like Thomas Baptist were the ones who sort of chopped down the trees and started the path for us to widen and to come. So I would say, brilliant, well done, but thank you. Deeply, deeply from our hearts, thank you. Thomas Baptiste is someone who, you know, should have been knighted. You know, he's someone who really deserved a far greater recognition in terms of his contribution that he gave to the arts in this country. I mean, I take my hat off to Thomas Baptiste um, and I'm very humbled by what he did and in a way humbled in a way by, you know, um, how he was treated and, you know, should we really, really deserve to give him a lot more um, recognition. And so I think this is a wonderful, wonderful um, opportunity in this um, naming of him for this award where we can do that. <laughs>